The Wagner is a 19th century museum, educational institution, and library. Our main museum collections are natural history specimens. William Wagner has this really strong conviction that people's lives are gonna be better if they understand science. And there's also some cool stuff going on in the 1830s and 40s when he's doing this. Uh, Cause for the very first time, they've discovered dinosaurs. The displays were set up in the 1890s and they haven't changed very much. So it's kind of like stepping back in time. William Wagner dies in the 1890s and we have not really changed anything about the building since. All of our specimens are real. They're gathered from all over the world. It's a great place to explore natural history but it's also a really great place to see how our understanding of the natural world has grown and evolved since then. So I've got an animal here. This is a bunny rabbit. It's a rabbit. Arch is crazy, you've got a little tail in the back and big buck teeth in the front. And despite the fact that these guys are quadrupeds, they walk on four feet, they have all the same parts that we do. They have a spine and attach that spine to the rib cage. They've got- For a long time now, since the early 20th century, we've done a lot of children's programs and we have field trips, which you saw, come here to explore the collections. A lot of times when school groups come, they're working on an area of science and they get a lesson here that relates to what they're learning about. So we do things like, fossils and the history of paleontology or rocks and minerals. Those are both really popular topics. I'm going to walk away with a lot more knowledge about rocks and stuff um, and about the human system because we had a whole paper that we did with the human bodily system. I'd hope that everyone's learning more about animals, rocks, anything they're interested in and just have time to like see what they're interested in about science and just be able to understand it deeper. The system we're going to talk about is our skeletal system. What are some reasons we have a skeleton? What's my Science is kind of history. A lot of stuff has happened throughout the Earth's many years of being around, and science changes a lot along with everything. We discover new things all the time. So your skull comes in multiple different parts. I think the most interesting thing so far that I've seen was the different rock collections. I saw an iron meteorite. I saw calcite. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that I saw. And of course, that wonder is what makes people curious and want to learn more. And that's, you know, one of the things that I think is um, so special about this place, but also, you know, makes it wonderful to work in a place that gets people interested in learning. Mm -hmm. 